Hi there, welcome to the channel or welcome back. I'm Angela and today I have a book review to share with you guys. If that sounds interesting, stay tuned. Hi all, thanks so much for stopping in. I'm glad you're hanging out with me today. And as mentioned, I do have a book to share with you guys. I got this recently. I picked up a very good used copy online and I loved it so much that I had to share it with you guys. It's called A Stylish Guide to Classic Sewing. I'll bring it in a little closer there. And it's by Julie Starr and Sarah Gunn. I'll flip it around and show you the back. Published in 2019. And this book still is uh, readily available online. You can order brand new copies of it. And there's a ton of good used copies out there as well. So if you like what you see and you wanna get a copy, you should be able to find one at like a big range of price points. So just an FYI on that. To give you a little bit of idea what the book is about, it, the subtitle says, explore 30 timeless garments with history, styling, and tips for ready to wear results. And I'm gonna bring you in and show you the table of contents. They have it kind of broken down by category, such as skirts, dresses, tops, pants, and things like that. And within each of the categories, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, and one other thing I wanted to, I'm gonna read this directly from the book. So they write in the introduction, through the years, we have sewn hundreds of garments from commercial patterns and countless tunics from their book, The Tunic Bible. They conclude that, or we conclude, reading it exactly, we conclude the key to sewing a successful wardrobe is constructing pieces you will wear over and over again, and we begin with the classics. We wrote a stylish guide to classic sewing to trigger sewing mojo and awaken your personal style by presenting 30 timeless garments which have endured the test of time and carried dozens of trends throughout or through the decades. So that kind of gives you the gist of the book. And I wanted to show you, well, right here on page 10, they list all 30 of the garments there. I'll hold that up for a minute or so so you can get a good feel for it. And for each of those garments, like for instance, the first section is called skirts. And then within that, they start out with A-line and gourd skirts. And then they would go on to the next one. I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about what's in each section. Then they go on to pencil skirt. So within each like specific type of garment, they give a little bit of a history, which is fun to read. Um, it's written very um, fun too. It's it's um, entertaining, it's not dry. It's, I find it to be pretty engaging. And then they talk about the characteristics of that garment, sewing tips, fabric suggestions, and how to style. And one thing that I love about this book, oh yeah, and then they also, before they go on to the next garment, they have a little paragraph called who wore it. So they list some um, mostly like celebrities who are kind of known for wearing this particular type of garment. And I love the illustrations throughout the book. There's an example of some of them. It's just charming. The whole book is just really charming. Here we're in the dress section and it's A-line and trapeze dresses over here. It's so cute. And in the middle of the book, they have actual photographs of each of the types of garments. So I'll show you. They call it the classic garment gallery. And for instance, on this first page, they've got a jean style jacket, a cardigan sweater and turtleneck. So they're actual photographs of examples of each of these types of garments. Here's another one, a blazer and a sheath dress. And there's even a section in the back, like at the end for menswear and wraps, like a whole, they get their whole section there. 
And what I thought was really interesting because this is geared towards towards sewists, but I feel like uh, if you're a stylist, if you just love clothing and dressing nicely, you would get something out of this book. But because it is tailored to sewists, they have included a pattern in the back. Right there, it's for, it's called Goodbye Valentino, and it's a modern classic pencil skirt. There are a number of contributors to the book, and they also acknowledge them towards the end of the book. I'm going to look down at my notes here. Let's take a little bit of a deeper dive on a couple of these garment types. So this one is for the t-shirt, just basic t-shirt. And under history, I'll read you just a little bit. It says, hello, Marlon Brando. The year was 1951 and the movie was A Streetcar Named Desire. The humble workwear staple that he wore suddenly got sexy and annual t-shirt sales exploded to $180 million. That was back in 1951. So it goes on to say, the original t-shirt first issued to U.S. Navy submariners to provide relief from their itchy wool uniforms eventually became the unofficial uniform of the working man. After its Hollywood debut, the journey of the white t-shirt spanned cultures, sexes, classes, and styles before landing as an essential fashion staple for both men and women. And it goes into a little more detail on it. And then under characteristics, this casual garment is named after the T-shape of its body and sleeves. Men's and women's t-shirts are designed to fit differently. The classic women's t-shirt is fitted at the shoulders with a hemline ending below the belt, but above the crotch. And it goes, I don't want to read like the whole thing, but just to give you guys a little bit of uh, detail on what to expect. And then for sewing tips, if your fabric is washable, pre-shrink it twice. If the fabric is not machine washable, be certain to have it dry cleaned before garment construction. Follow the stretch guide on your pattern. Uh, if you're seeking a casual shirt, a ribbed knit band is an ideal neckline and sleeve finish. And then it goes on with some more sewing tips, such as stabilizing the shoulder seams. Uh, then it even talks about uh, look for online classes and there's uh, resources, related articles, videos, and online classes on page 174, which I did not see before. Oh yeah, so at the end of the book, it lists resources of sewing instruction and alteration books, related articles, videos, and online classes, trims, tools, and notions, fabric shopping around the globe. Let's look at another type of garment. So for outerwear, they've got jean style jacket. I'm sure there must be several of these outerwear types. It's a pretty long section. The French jacket. Let's look at that one. <laughs> French jacket. The history. Darling, now you can have your cake and eat it too. The French jacket was revolutionary in that for the first time, menswear was interpreted in feminine form with movement less restricted than in fashions previously available to women. The style was first conceived by Gabrielle Coco Chanel when she borrowed sportswear from her beau, the Duke of Westminster, and began experimenting with incorporating fibers like silk and cotton into traditional Scottish tweeds. And there's more history there on that, but we'll just leave it at that for now. How to style. Uh, a few of our favorite ways to wear it are with skinny jeans, a white shirt, and booties, cropped trousers, classic white button-up shirt, and ballet flats, wide leg trousers, and a turtleneck, a matching skirt as a suit, over a sheath dress, a lace or leather skirt, or a pashmina wrap. And, you know, of course, it gives the fabric suggestions and sewing tips. So much fun. I'll show you guys another one of the little illustrations there. So cute. You see that? Yeah. So, yeah, there's so much here. I can't share the whole book with you, but 
maybe we'll look at a couple more of the actual photographs. So here is a button-up shirts and trench coat. And here's some more everyday type of clothing, capri pants, jeans, t-shirt, and blazer, and button-up shirt. So it's kind of nice that you see photo examples of all the types of garments in addition to the charming little illustrations. And overall, I found this book to be like so delightful. That's why I'm sharing it with you. I don't often do book reviews on this channel, but I think I've done maybe, maybe just one other one, but this is a little treasure here. So I had to share it with you guys. And if it gives you perspective, I am not a fashionista or a clothes horse, as it were, in any like way at all. I just love to sew. And every year at the beginning of the year, when I'm looking at the coming year and setting my goals, I always put one down like, oh, on my goal list, I'm gonna like dress more stylishly. And then it never happens because I'm so casual and I just love tank tops and yoga pants or capri pants. <laughs> but because I love to sew, I do end up with like a fair number of articles of clothing that I really want to put together more stylishly. And I think that this book will help with that. And as I mentioned, it's really readily available in case you're interested. So just a heads up, if you do go to buy a copy, especially if you're buying a used copy, I noticed a number of reviews from people who bought used copies and it was missing the pattern in the back. So because I knew that going in, when I selected one to purchase from the used book section, I made sure to put one that was like, um, like new quality. So still had a, like a really good savings on the cost of the book. And I also got the pattern in here. And that's about it. Just a wrapping up. It's a really short one. I just got this in the mail, you know, a few days ago, maybe a week ago. So I had to share it with you guys while it's, while I'm still so excited about it. And other than that, that's about it. I will be back later in the week and I'll have an update for you on my cargo pants and or my new sewing project. That's the one that I put a little poll on my community page. If you guys uh, participated in the poll and made one of the choices, thank you so much. It was so much fun to see what everybody thought I should make for my next project. And I'll give you a little bit of a teaser here. There was a clear forerunner. I did not go with that pattern after all, although I was set to, and I actually had the tissue pieces cut out and I was ready to go. But then after rethinking it, I totally did a 180. So I'm going to reveal that on the next video. So if you're interested in that, I hope that you will come back then and I'll talk to you then. Bye.